Hello everyone, welcome to Techie Giveaway channel. Uh, in this video, we are going to see about uh, chat GPT usage in QA automation, API testing, whatever. So as I am a QA, like how I'm going to use chat GPT in a kind of extensive level, which I use some prompt and uh, how I'm getting used to it, how I am saving the time. So that's how it is. Like I have read about a quad that, uh, so chat GPT will not replace us if we don't know how to actually use it so uh, it's it's for sure it will not going to replace because we can save time and we can make uh, the productivity more actually so using the chat gpt so that's how i started uh, chat gpt initial days i was just putting some random questions answer like a uh, google it was coming but uh, then i learned like how can we create a good prompt something like that so instead of for example uh, write some test cases for login screen something like that you can write it and you will get uh, some test cases then you need a more coverage uh, login test cases then edge cases of login test cases so these are all the way one way but uh, i have tried uh, to create a test cases for the api which uh, like which uh, we give the input of swagger so let me take some sample swagger contract which uh, which is which one which one which one i'll take i'll take a swagger ui which is uh, pet store that swagger dot so we have this json right so everyone i think you guys like the project swagger url or swagger dot json you will get it so what i'll do uh, right uh, test cases for the uh, api contract given below i'll give swagger contract so it started giving uh, test cases in the sense like uh, get pet id add new pet id update existing pet id for everything they say like updating for example, maybe these are the test cases, retrieve an existing valid ID, attempt to retrieve with invalid ID or non-existing. So these are the test cases. It's giving in a kind of a document format, but we want something like kind of a table format, right? So I can just type show result in tables. So then it convert uh, the test cases uh, with the test case ID, some unique ID. So you can directly you reuse this actually. As of now, there is uh, only eight test cases, something like that. And you can continue the table for each test cases filing. So this format makes it track, manage test cases, their scenario and expected result. Uh, so this is just eight, right? You need more coverage. So create more coverage test cases in table. So I'm giving one more command, create more coverage. So then it will start giving uh, uh, all the test cases. It start from TC021, maybe it started with an order number, that's fine. Okay, you have got now many test cases from 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So almost we got 50 more test cases. Again, we can write uh, write a edge cases and security cases in table. So we will get edge cases and security cases also uh, with this. So we see there is TC0101 and security cases from 201. Something like they are trying to give some unique ID starting from one. So this is how we can cover. See, with just having the swagger, we'll get everything. Like all the test data, test cases, something like that, everything. Even uh, uh, test data. Uh, provide test data also. So uh, it will give you a test data also for the particular uh, things invalid for each like each test cases 
so this is awesome right so uh, instead of thinking a lot the actual standard cases uh, test cases and test data you will get it from chat gpt then actually you can spend time lot uh, lot of time on the logical test cases and all okay anyway guys i think uh, this one is like useful for you maybe you can enhance the prompt and you can put a prompt for something else maybe uh, debugging the code fixing the code there are many in the google i'm just i'm just showing something like i uh, want to show on the real time how it is happening instead of reading on the blog okay thanks thanks for your time guys if anything you want just put into the comments